Well, let's talk about Caro now, which develops, acquires and manages private schools in South Africa. Market cap here, 17.5 billion rand. Trading on a PE of 97.3 pays no dividends. How long has this one been around again? Yeah, it's been around, what, about eight years or so? Is I it think. eight years? Uh, yeah, and listed on the market, I forget when. I remember it well when it listed. Yes. People were a little skeptical. Oh, yeah. It is new yeah. relative to the traditional private schools that we the see playing in the South African space. The first school, of course, was space. established in Durbanville, but I think you have to go back probably 12 or 14 years to get when that one then. And then, of course, it came to the market yes. when it was much smaller. Yeah, and backed, obviously, by PSG and has been a phenomenal success. Let's look at the share price graph there, Rowan, as you are speaking. Mm. Yeah, so I think what you've seen is uh, a lot of uh, prospects baked into that uh, share price and uh, I guess as a result it's kind of been discounting the future for some time and hence has been moving sideways. They did come with a, reading, a recent trading statement for first half of, of this financial year. Actually growth looks like it's slowing from what has been very fast and you know, to justify that kind of P they need a lot of growth. Mm. Well, that uh, flat line, is it? Yes, uh, and we've experienced that flat line because we owned Caro in our hot stocks portfolio, which is interesting. When uh, did we get rid of Caro? No, no, we still own them. Oh, we still, you said we, still we owned them. Remember, we and had I thought maybe the PSG I'd missed it. holding and then we switched that out into uh, Back into the individual piece. stocks rather than holding the, remember, the PSG group. It isn't the most important asset inside of PSG. Uh, Capitec, Capitec would be that. PSG owns 63 something or other percent of Caro. So this thing has done lots and lots of acquisitions, lots and lots of capital raising, and that's because it's feeding such a hungry market. The desire out there for new Curro schools is really there, and they are uh, doing lots of land but acquisitions. But priced, I mean, priced for perfection. Uh, this one has got mm. to deliver. Yeah. Indeed, and I guess that's the issue. Results. The market loves companies that grow 70% every year. It doesn't love them quite as much if they only grow 20% per year. And uh, it's a question of saying, well, are there more bits and chunks that they can still acquire at current levels? Is it going to be harder now? They're building out and potentially floating off a tertiary sector business called yeah. Stadio. That's right. talk about that. Right? Yeah, so it's interesting, uh, you, like Advertech, which is a sort of comparable, they've got the tertiary and the secondary in a single listed entity. We're seeing a lot of development spend in Stadio now, uh, sort of also on the J-curve. So that's actually dragging down uh, the operating performance a little bit of Curro. So they've decided to spin it out as a standalone entity, and I guess the market can value that on its own merit. So, mm -hmm. But it's probably going to be quite capital hungry, the Stadio business. They have been doing some acquisitions as well in Namibia recently, um, but two separate and distinct investment opportunities. Mm -hmm. Just looking at the demand supply equation again in mm. South Africa and the dearth of supply when it comes to private education, mm. you would have to back this one for the long term. Yes, because notwithstanding the plethora of private schools out there, they still only cope or provide for about 5% of the total student body. And when you take 5%, you're actually including all of the sort of small, low fee private schools mm. that have sprung up in inner cities with strange names you've never heard of, often with immigrant teachers that are sort of semi-approved um, in terms of the government's Umalusi program or in the process of getting it. The fact that kids go there is just an indication of how the, uh, keen the parents are to get them out of some of the state schools in township areas which remain semi-dysfunctional. So, so yes. enormous future potential. Yes. If you're only coping for 5% of the total, you know, there's plenty of scope uh, uh, to grow that. just comes back to simple demand and yeah. supply. But uh, the interesting thing, the demand, I think, is stratified. There is a lot of demand, but there's also affordability. And mm. we've seen an increase in marginal tax rates, uh, uh, the consumer under pressure. To some extent, these stocks are now valued and look like as consumer stocks. So at the margin, I Important think... Important point, yeah. actually, given the, the mm. pressure that we often exactly. talk about. And uh, bad debts can be an issue. Concern. So I think it's sort of it's a bit balanced uh, more. And as I said, that top end is getting a little bit saturated. So they have to move further downstream. There are other competitors. Uh, comp there's sort of uh, you know uh, quality issues as well. So it, it gets a little bit trickier. Mm. Mm. What about the tertiary issues specifically, though? Because we know that the fees must fall dramas at the you know 10 top universities in this country which are state owned but where their private fee contributions have really worried uh, middle to higher end uh, families that want their kids to really do well in the corporate market you hear stories about people wanting to send their kids overseas which is ruinously expensive 
So there the opportunity is for private operators like Advertech, we'll talk about in a minute, but also Curro, to come with tertiary private offerings. offerings. And I think that's a big growth area. That's why we're seeing this expansion. Unless the online uh, trend starts to dominate. Well, I guess it's both because yes. these, these companies are doing a combination of online yeah. and, um, you know, course but, but what I'm saying is that if we see online making a huge contribution to tertiary education, i.e. the accessing of the Harvards mm. and the Oxfords of the mean, world at a global level, at a global yeah. level mm. simply because of the technology yeah. uh, explosion. Look, these companies, I think, would have to be part of that process. Otherwise, they'll be left behind. I agree. Hot or not? So I think Curry. Stadio is interesting when it uh, becomes available. So I think Curro looks too full for me. If we look at the comparables to, say, an Advertech, which we can discuss, uh, it, I'm going to say not. We are going to be chatting about Advertech mm. after the break. Hot on Curro? I'm going to remain hot on Curro. I just think the opportunity is enormous. I think it could be a bumpy ride, though, but I'm going to stick with hot. Well, yeah. we, we've got a couple of bumpy <laughs> rides in that hot stocks portfolio <laughs> on the local front. Thank goodness not too many on the US or in the US portfolio 